All right, after the last uh, video, we finished with everything. Now it's time for the sound effects. Um, I have a video for sound effects, uh, how to do it in After Effects. If you want to use After Effects for that, make sure to watch the video I did uh, before. I will link it in the description or in the info box. Um, today I will tell you how to do that in Sony Vegas. I switched, I don't know, like four months ago to Sony Vegas with uh, sound editing because it's, uh, in my opinion, a lot better to do there. You have more options than in After Effects and it's easier. So, but how to do that? Uh, first of all, we want to make sure to render the actual video out, not in high quality because it's just to have it uh, visible in Vegas if we want to do the sound effects so we know which scenes comes when. So, how to do that is by render it out, select uh, the time span right here, so it's at the beginning and at the end, and then we go on composition, add to render queue, there we go. Here you can either select AVE if you just want to render it out in After Effects and then compresses, uh, compress it afterwards with programs like Handbrake or something. You can also do this by using Adobe Media Encoder by just click on Q and AME Adobe Media Encoder and then it will open or I also have a plugin which is called After Codex MP4. Then you can select here on Format Options, the quality. And then it will tell you something about the file size. So in my opinion, I just want 10 megabyte file size or something like 15, so it's not that good of quality. And then click on OK and render. All right, and then it renders. We will uh, see us back in Vegas. All right, right in Vegas, we just simply dragged in our video, our rendered out video, and now we're gonna drag it in the actual composition, and we wanna drag it to the left. If you wanna move this one, make sure to move it right here, otherwise you will have sound. Okay, that's it for Vegas. You can uh, split with S, and I will tell you now what to do. So first of all, we wanna make sure if we wanna add reverb to our composition, or a little reverb to the whole track. We make sure to go on the track line on this one, left click and go on track effects. And then you probably don't have the plugin, it is named Ambience. So you see Ambience, um, there are some tutorials on YouTube how to install that. Just click it if you have it. And right in here, we can make some settings. Um, so, first of all, you want to change the time to something around 3000 right so something like that the diffusion you want to do on 55 the size to something around 50 as well pre delay to zero that's all the same and variation yeah can do something around 300. Okay, um, frequency should be around 38. So the frequency you wanna do on 500 and the grain to something around minus five. Here we wanna do the frequency on 140. Here on 40, uh, on 4000 on 33 just make sure to copy my settings and then you will have something similar all right we got this uh, pretty much done with that one close this and now if we take a listen that's what I use more often to create a end of a song a reverb so for example if you have a song not for this example but because we want to do a loop part for example you have you have this track and you want to end it right here so you make a cut right there bop and you have on the track line ambience enabled and it will sound like this see it's a cool fade um 
All right, that's uh, with that. What you can do now in Sony Vegas is you can add a lot of uh, cool effects to, uh, to this uh, stuff here and some whooshes and of course some anime clips. So the most important thing is to get some from the anime itself, some footage, some sounds. Um, how to do that, you just drag the episode in here and then you cut it. Alright, so right in Vegas, you drag to the episode of uh, the anime clips you use. So, if you take a look right here, you just uh, need to make sure to switch that right here and not on the top, so it makes no sound. And if you zoom in, you can see what scenes you've chosen. Okay, so the next step is you drag your anime episode right in here and you go to the scenes where everything happens and right in there you just cut your parts out of the actually scenes so you got some sound. So right in here you have this. As you can hear there's a lot of background music so to avoid that you can use Premiere and Adobe Audition. In that case you don't really need that. Um, we will use a lot of whooshes instead and not that much sounds. So right in there you have the next scene. We want to use also this voice land because you can do a lot of cool stuff with voice lands. And uh, by the way you can make a cut with S on the keyboard. So just S and it will make a cut. Also we got that scene and as you can see you need to pause. Um, yeah that's enough I guess. Okay we have uh, delete the rest if you have everything. We just need these two in this example and that one so only three one the rest. We will do with the whooshes because there's a lot of background music and we want we don't want that. So control X and paste them right after you edit in here. Alright, so if you've done this and added ambience as well, you can just uh, separate that. So by watching that you can see this is our intro. So what we're gonna do? can make the cut right here then we go right click group remove from and then it's separated the audio from the video and we can delete the video all right so we edit the audio of the enemy right in there on the third line and we want to add track fix and also add ambition uh, also add ambience you can copy the same settings if you just go on the first one, track FX. If you just go on the first one, track FX, and then in the ambience, you can if you go on the first one, track FX, you can just go and save VST preset. Go on save VST preset and save it on your browser and then open it up on that icon. What we will do now, so we go on track FX and open our preset. If we've done that, we have ambience also on this track.
So you can do that by just go on Trackfix on the first one. We already edited it there and then save it as, I don't know, you can name whatever you want. Save it as whatever you want. Click OK, uh, click save. And then if you're on the second one, you go on the folder and choose this one and open. And it will open the settings. All right. If we got this, you have added some little reverb on that one. And as you can hear, it's a bit too long. Like that. Okay, now we have this one as well. We have this audio, so we want to make sure where can we put this. Um, probably on that one. So right in here where the cut is, we can make a cut on the audio. So first of all, go and group, remove from, then make a cut in here. And then make a cut right at the end of that scene. So in here, and then you can drag the end of this just like that to have a little overflow, a little transition. Then you're going to click on this FX and choose resonant filter and choose the filter to muffa. If you got this, it will sound like this. It muffers the audio basically. So right in here, we want to also go group move from and choose this on the second, second scene. And it's too long, so we will only use the end. And we want to do volume on in here. Make it on something like four. And the voice line is pretty shit, so we're gonna go back in here and we will choose a better one. Okay, so we will use this one and then put it on in here. Probably we can cut it. Make a little fade out. Oh, that's a bit... But you get it. Sometimes it's not really fitting. You can also add EFX reverb on that and put the mix a bit lower. And you can also do volume on 6 and add another volume if it's still not loud enough. Alright, um, now the last scene is this one. As well, group, remove from and then put it on the scene where it is. So right in here. It's a bit loud, so... That's it, pretty easy. Now we want to add whooshes and other sound effects. In my example, I have the Strive X pack, the SFX all... Uh, I created a folder in the Strive pack 3, where I got my... Literally my whole library of uh, sound effects. And in here in Wooshes you can see there's a lot of things and I want to add Woosh1. Make sure to, uh, to drag it in and then as you can see this is a Woosh. Which this scene it will give the scene a bit more impact. So you can take a look. We want to crank the volume up a bit so... And we want to copy it in here, drag it lower, bottom, and somewhere about here. And yeah, we got the whole library here. We want another whoosh, so we go on, for example, Bez Whoosh in this case. Um, for everybody that uh, doesn't know the Stripe Pick 3, there's a link in uh, the description for the PayHip. Um, yeah. 
there's not only SFX, there are also lots of overlays, presets, project files, um, also uh, project files for SFX, so you can orientate on that and learn something. Alright, so we want to add a whoosh in here as well. On the drop, so somewhere around here. And somewhere around there. So copy that, paste it in here. Can do the volume up. It's a bit too loud. And if you finished, you can just pre-render it right here. But that's the render region. So if you got this, you just go on file, render as, and then you can select uh, transparent audio, for example, and name it whatever you want. and. Here you can choose the file where you want to save it. If you got this, we hop back in After Effects and we'll see you there for the next video with the render settings.